very simple equation. I'm going to put a big C down here. This, um, you might want to jot this down somewhere, or whatever, um, and, and it's very simple, uh, and uh, I'll, then we'll build from it. If I wanted to um, measure the amount of creativity that maybe I could put into a, an assignment or a project or something, maybe it's writing a book, maybe it's uh, creating a new solution to something, uh, it would, uh, the amount of creativity would depend on three things, according to the way we look at it. One is knowledge. You've got to have knowledge about whatever it is you're doing. So if I'm trying to get a cure for cancer, I, I, I'm dead in the water if I don't know anything about the body, biology, uh, chemistry, stuff like that. I don't have a chance. I've got to have the knowledge. Um, and if, I get, if it's a big problem, I've got to have the right knowledge in the room. I've I got to have people who, who, whose knowledge we need. But it's not enough because we have to multiply that by our imagination. The imagination is the ability to do something with the knowledge to create options. And uh, we signify that with our active divergence sign. Okay, So if we can build a skill in active divergence, we're able to take that knowledge, like the Air Canada thing, is like do something with that knowledge, create some options. But having 100 options is useless if you keep on picking bad ones. Good judgment is really required. Evaluation, and that's the ability to, the skill to choose a, a convergence. Very simple idea, but if we can do all three of these, by, by the way, the, the time sign means if, you, if you're missing any one of them, you're not going to have any creativity. You need all three. It's a very disciplined process and can be used like any other process. Okay, with that, I stands for imagination or, or ideation. E stands for evaluation.